We're back with more Detective Pikachu returns. Um, on the previous one, on on we uh, basically um, um, uh, we're about like almost done with the chapter and figuring out who did it. So let's finish that up and find out who did it. Um, let's just jump in. Talk to her. Ask me anything you like. Uh, about Growlithe's food, my staff member Turner always prepares the food here. New t noted testimony. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be finishing up this chapter today, so. Um. Okay. Good! The only person who can put sleep powder in the Pokemon's food mirror is, is um, Turner. Bingo! There you go. Turner is the one who used sleep powder. But the conjuncture, we don't have any hard evidence. We should definitely need to find some proof, but I'm not s sure how. It's kind of an aggressive move, but we could try shaking up a, a bit. See if we can make if we can make Turner nervous. We might learn something based on how he reacts. Think of up. Think you're up for up to it. It's worth to try. Um. Yes. Yes. Um, Pokemon eat in separate rooms from the humans. Who is a good uh, is a good testimony. Um. Uh. Well, you. Yes. I might have something about Crawler's food. I know exactly what kind of food Crawler prefers. That's pretty good. As in, you bring new information. Uh, now let's go talk to Turner. Yes. Oh, hello, Tim. How's the investigation going? I'm acting a bit of a st st stuck at the moment. Sorry to hear that it's go Is it, there anything I can do to help? I was actually ha I hoping to ask you a few more questions, if you don't mind. By all means, ask your way. What crime are Excuse me. You yeah, you bought no crime around, right, Mr. Turner? Well, how do you know that? It came up while we're gathering statements in the city. Hmm, I see. Please don't think I was hiding the fact or anything. I was just afraid that he might be, become a suspect. Didn't, I did tell the police, of course. Really? It's been a while since I've seen him after you worrying, so... Where have he... Where could he have gone? Oh, we just saw Cremorant walking towards the mansion. What a little... I needed... I told him to stay put. Hmm, stay put. Why did you tell him that, Mr. Turner? Oh, well, I didn't want him to get out of out of his own. He's been worried he might have gotten mixed up with some crime somehow. My balls hurt. Thank you so much for finding him, that Tim. It's a huge relief. Hmm. Well, Ponyard. Mm -hmm. Thinking about pawning my hair cut the, the jewel case. Yep. Yeah. Is that turning reaction pretty clear that he's hiding something? Yep. Interview Cramorant. Okay, let's go back to the city. Go in the back alley. I think after this chapter, yeah, I'm gonna I'm hop into Albino Kids and do the same thing over again. Yeah. Who's Cramorant? Pikachu is Cramorant. Weren't you going to go back to turn? Didn't make it very far, did ya? You've been resting because you feel too full to walk. Why is Cameron the only one that feels unwell? Cameron and the others were fine. You must be only yep. Wait a, wait a second. Mm, a missing jewel, and now 
Cramorant's full belly. What are you thinking, Pikachu? I figured it out! Ah, a bolt of brilliance! Whoa, hey, bolt of brilliance! The stolen jewel we seek is right over there! Well, where are you pointing to, Pikachu? Did you figure something out, Pikachu? Oh yeah, I got it all figured out. Oh, let's go. I bet we figured out it too. You bet you figured it out too, haven't you? All right, here's the final question. Where's the Turner hide the jewel? Okay. Thank you, hand. Yep. Pokemon. Yeah. Let's bring all of them and then we'll pick the right one. So, uh, and somewhere in the mansion garden, inside Cramorant's belly, that could be. Uh, it's Neil Douglas' favorite fountain, or is it in in Wim's cotton? It's Cramorant's belly. Cramorant's belly. Cramorant said he could gulp down anything, right? So the jewel is most likely hidden in its belly. Yes, you got it. Her made Cramorant swallowed the jewel, and the reason he felt full is because he still got the jewel in his belly. Turn didn't have time to retrieve it. Retrieve it. The, the jewel after the theft did he? You know, by puzzle, the jewel is still in Cramorant's belly. Now that we have enough evidence, back to turn it into a corner. Yeah. Where is the stolen jewel? Cramorant swallowed it. Yeah. Okay, we got all the proof we need. Now we just have to catch the culprit. Let's go tell Hala and gather everyone involved with the case. Are you ready, Tim? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. Let's re reveal the truth together. This will be a very short episode, by the way. So, we're at the end of the chapter, so... This is it. Let's take care of business. Everyone, thank you for coming. This sudden conference had better be important. It is. We've identified the real culprit. Have you now? Yes, Mr. Barnes isn't the one who stole the jewel. Oh, oh. Who did it then? Yeah, he didn't do it. I'll explain everything from the beginning. Let's start with how the culprit entered the jewel storage room. There were no signs of forced entry on the door, so the culprit must have used a key. But Growlithe was guarding the key. No one but my husband or Barnes could have taken the key from Growlithe. Yes, exactly. So how did they... I guess it must have been Barnes, then. No, it wasn't. Yeah. See, the culprit had a trick up their sleeve for taking the key. Up their sleeve. How did the culprit get the key? Um, the door was unlocked. The, they broke the door and didn't use the key. They made Growlithe a slave and stole the key. They made friendly growling and the key. They made Growlithe fall, fall asleep. And the culprit used sleep powder to make Growlithe fall asleep. And after that, they took the key. Very short episodes. Um, the next few episodes, so that's pretty good. Take a close look at Growlithe's food bowl, Inspector. You'll find traces of Lilligan's sleep powder in it. Of course. So that's how the culprit got into the jewel storage room. But they couldn't possibly have cut open that sturdy display case in such a short time. Yeah, good point. No, they could have if they had Pokemon accomplices. Pokemon? Yes, Pokemon. Uh, who got the jewel case? Ponyard, Whimsicat, Ducklet, or Fable? It's, it's Ponyard. The culprit somehow used Whimsicott and Ponyard. And got Ponyard to cut open the case. What? How is that even possible? We 
may understand now how the jewel was stolen. That doesn't necessarily prove that Barnes is innocent. Actually, I do have proof that Mr. Barnes is innocent. Yes, we do have proof. Um, what was it? The duck, it's, if it, is it Douglas bag? When to cast cotton in the note from that accomplice wrote with the key to the jewel case. It's the, it's the, uh, note. It's the note. We discovered this note in a Trubbish's possession. The, uh, note? The culprit jotted down their whole plan. They wanted to frame Mr. Barnes for the crime. Then that would mean Barnes is innocent. So who's the real culprit? The real culprit is right here with us. What do you mean? Is it Brandon Barnes? Is it Tunji Davis, Claudia Dennis, or Larry Turner? It's Larry Turner. Stole the Aurora drop. It's Mr. Turner, you're the culprit. Who? Me? But, but, but I'm a victim of this crime. Ponyard punched me. It punched you, huh? Ponyard. Has yeah, that doesn't seem. Yeah, he has played for hands. Yeah. Him. really think I'm the culprit, then where's the jewel? I don't have it on me, and I haven't set foot outside the mansion. Where's the jewel? Isn't it obvious? It's with a Pokemon. What? Which Pokemon has the jewel? Ducklet? Cafable? Ponyard or Cramorant? It's Cramorant. Of course you don't have the stolen jewel. You hid it. In Cramorant's belly. Uh, excuse me? Cramorant's maybe Turner's partner, but even so... Where is that Cramorant anyway? Mr. Turner, you clearly put a lot of thought into your plan. But when we investigated the crime scene, we found a Cramorant feather. And you underestimated Growlithe's sense of responsibility. Those two things did you in. Now, please call your Cramorant. <clears throat> like he's here. <laughs> Cramorant. All right, let me handle this. What's that thing on his back? The key and the jewel. There it is. The Aurora dropped. And the key to the storage room, too. I'm afraid you can't talk your way out of this, Mr. Turner. <sighs> I was so close to living the easy life. I shouldn't have teamed up with someone I barely knew. Hmm. Turn that Holly will be in a look into his accomplice. Right, let's leave this to the police. Was I wrong the whole time was I wrong the whole time? Press the road drop was a symbol of hope. That it could bring hope to even more people. That's why I decided to donate it. But I never thought it would be would lead to an incident like this. Maybe I should forget about donating it and just keep quietly locked up in the house. Goodness gracious, you you all of peep of all people. You really do you really think so little of the Aurora drop? What are you saying, Claudia? Can you just tell me can you just tell me yourself that you hope to whoever looked at the Aurora drop would not see its beauty? But also to feel cheered up by a, by a, in the current by the current by it, and you're really going to give up that hope just because of a stroke of bad luck. What wouldn't 
definitely a terrible waste. Did, did, don't you agree, Barnes? Great indeed, ma madam. Just as you said, say, Mr. Dennis, you plan to donate the jewel to the people of Rhyme City? But certainly not a mistake. Please believe in yourself and what you do is the best. Claudia Barnes. Give me, I think I let myself get in to check in what, what happened today. With the beauty of the Aurora drop, the people of Rhyme City, as you should. But Claudia warning you against the donation. Don't misunderstand me. I just, I just don't want to deal with your moping around like this for the rest of our life, well, that's all. Haha, <laughs> I see. Thank you, Claudia. This incident has forced me to reconsider how we see some, um, some of the, my views. The fable, duck like growlers, let's eat together from now on. It's good, like, it looks, it looks good, Mr. Dennis and the others are getting along better now. Yeah, that wraps this up. Ironic. Grammar and swallowed the jewel, and now you've got to swallow the bitter consequences. Well, let's go. Yeah, we finished the chapter. We're not done yet, so we have a little bit more. Uh, we have the cutscene. Oh, what's happening? The dad is back. Grammar, are you all right? Oh, oh. You ate the jewel? <laughs> Don't just stand there. Hurry yeah. up and grab it. No, grab the thing on his back. <laughs> Whatever. How could this be happening? Found you. Turner! Uh, hold on. I swear I had nothing to do with that. Why don't we discuss this down at the station? Well, what just happened? Oh my gosh! Ooh. 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 Rowlet, you did a great job. <laughs> Hey, Pikachu, look. Oh, are you leaving already? See you around. Bye. Say, Tim, did you notice Grammarin's back? Yeah, there was something glowing on it. Yeah, what was that Maybe thing? I like it. I wonder. Maybe Turner didn't know what was going on. Something tells me this is just the beginning. Yeah, what was that thing? I'm home. Tim's back. Well, you sure are home late. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Oh, and who is this? My classmate, Rachel. It's nice to meet you. Uh, is she your girlfriend? What? <laughs> girlfriend? Oh my god. If only. Only. I'm actually, Rachel's here because. Hello, sorry to barge in so silly. I was hoping to get some more advice from the great detective here. He really realize his family was visiting though. Welcome, Rachel. We didn't mean to startle you. Sophie and I just arrived in Rock City yesterday. Came to see my brother's ceremony or award ceremony. Or really. This is probably the first time we met we all seen each other in a while. I'm not in the way. Please don't worry about it. We'll be in town for a while yet. Make yourself at home. I'll make some tea. Thank you, really. See, Tim. 
Cody, Arnie, and Sophia, Sophia will understand. Yeah, you're right. I'm glad. Talk to everyone. Hello, Rachel. Yes. Sophia. Yes. Yeah. Girlfriend is funny. Uh, and hi, mom. Hey, yeah, let's, let's, uh... <laughs> well, I should probably get going. Come now, why don't you stay and eat with us? Yeah, that's a great idea. Well, you heard them. Well, what do you say? I mean, who could turn down an invitation like that? Yay! Eat up, everyone. I really outdid myself this time. Wow! Looks amazing! Thank you, Mom! Mom made her special mac and cheese for us. So this is the dish that Harry kept raving about, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, this is incredible! Good, huh? Mm. What is happening? What just happened to Pikachu? What is this? What just happened to Pikachu? Irene. Uh, what? We need to talk. Harry? I want a divorce. What? What's going on? Are you joking? Take care of Tim and Sophia for me. Where is this coming from? I'm sorry. Harry, there must be some reason. I'm sorry. Harry. Are you okay, Pikachu? You had me worried suddenly fainting like that. Uh, I fainted? What just happened? Yeah, what happened? Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> hey, feeling better? Yeah, I guess. Pikachu. Huh? What's that? You too. You too. There is something the two of you must know. When I was in my cave a few days ago, I was attacked by several Pokemon. Yeah, we saw on the news. No matter how many times I overpowered them, they didn't seem to feel a thing. Maybe R again? No, these Pokemon had no will of their own, as if something was controlling them. As for Harry... Harry? He drill and those cubes again on their back. What was it? Look! Those lights, like the one we saw in Cramorant. You think the two are related somehow? I'd say, almost certainly. Finding the Aurora Drop may be the key to solving this mystery. Yeah, let's follow up on that. Murdoch, Murloc. The Kramer, the Kramer, the Kramer that stole the Aurora the Drop, the swarm of Pedro that attacked Mewtwo. Both they both have glowing the device stuck to them. After hearing Mewtwo, after hearing Mewtwo say my dad's name, I think 
I think I if I investigate the Aurora drop, then I might get closer to finding him. Let's proceed. And then next morning. Okay, today we're gonna find out more about the Aurora drop, right? Yep. But this is going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your guys' day. Take care.